just be the day that Big Bad Boy Person starts for Chile. Of course, we saw him last time around against Messi as a cameo, but today it's all Big Bad Boy Person, Chile. Let's go. That's right, folks. Back once again with another match preview. Looking forward to Chile up against Bolivia. Five minute preview, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you do, smash your subscribe, get your bang up to date with all things. Chile, Blackburn Rovers, World Football and Copa America right here under one Ruski. Smash your subscribe. Check out the links. Five minute preview. Here we go. Kick it all off with Chile up against Bolivia. That's right on the 18th of June, which is a couple of days from now. I'll take a place of the Ariana Pantanal over in Boazú. Of course, Chile's manager, Martin Lazarate, up against Bolivia's uh, Cesar Fariadas, of course, making his uh, first appearance in this competition, Chile. Uh, best ever first, of course, uh, back to back. They won a couple of those top four of the 20, 22 times over the course of time. And they currently... Uh, ranked 19th in the world, but last time they played in the Cup of America, they finished in fourth. Uh, the resume looks just like this. Bolivia now, then it's, of course, uh, Uruguay, a tasty one, that one, then wrap it all up against Paraguay on the 25th of June. So far, okay, one more draw against Argentina, one of the favourites, but can they go one step further and get uh, the big fat win? Quick reminder of the squad today, shall we? Claudio Bravo between the sticks. Of course, safe pair of hands right there. Uh, who else we got? Francesco Seriata from Watford. Gary Medell. Artaro Vidal, of course. Sanchez was not available last time, but he could be back. But of course, Big Bad Boy Brereton stealing the show. Take a look at my starting lineups. I've not gone with Big Ben to start. I thought he was very, very good as a cameo. I think he might actually start, depending on what goes on uh, with the man. This is a prime time game for him to, to be a thorn in the side and maybe get his first goal in international football. Bravo between the sticks. Mina, Marapan, Medell, and Isla make up a back four. Puga. Arangarez, Vidal make a three-man midfield. Menezes, Vargas and Palacios up top. Ben could come on. He might. I, I, he will get some game time, I'm sure. He did very, very well last time around, but he might even get the start. But I'm going to go with a, a cameo appearance. Bolivia, of course, matched by Cesar Farrares. They actually won it back in 1963. Top four, four times in the past. Uh, last time around, though, they only could make it to the groups. Uh, FIFA rank it 81st in the world. They did play Chile not too long ago. Picked up a draw, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Their resume is right here, right now. Up against Chile, then it's Bolivia. And they're going to wrap it up. Up against Argentina on the 29th of June. So far, not so good. Lost to Paraguay back on the 15th of June. But can they bounce back with this one up against Bull uh, for uh, Chile? Quick recap of the squad then, shall we, for Bolivia? Oh, it's the who's who. Everybody knows these guys. Jose Socredo from the strongest. Um, who else have we got? Uh, always ready. That's Jorge Flores. Uh, but the main, the main face of the place is up top. Marcelino Martins, number nine. Uh, they also got a Marino somewhere knocking about. Um, but yeah, it's everybody's favourites. Uh, Serviette, Boris Sabida is probably the only guy playing abroad. Gone with this starting lineup. Shall we? we got three at the back. Uh, we've got Corrado between the sticks. Sagredo, Justino and Quinteros in a three-man midfield. Flores on the left, but Jano on the right. Justiano, Savarina and Cespedes in the middle. Avalas and Ache up top. Again, I think it might be a COVID issue with Bolivia's team. Maybe that's why some unfamiliar faces. Of course, heading into this page are the 13 times in the past. 10 wins for Chile. One win for Bolivia and two draws, including just the other day. Played each other. The biggest win for Chile. 5 near win over uh, Bolivia. One near win was the biggest in that one near victory since 2004. Chile coming to this 58% form, just one defeat in the past six. However, Bolivia coming to this just one win in the past six, and that was uh, makes a 33% form uh, heading into this. During the last eight meetings, Chile are playing at home. Chile won six, and there have been two draws, while Bolivia have zero. Uh, this is, of course, the recent encounters. Of course, that 1 1 draw just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, prior to that, uh, Chile picked up a 2 1 win in a friendly. They also played back each other in 2017, World Cup qualifier, and Bolivia won. So get amongst it, that then, shall we? Look at the state of play over in this group. Group B, Paraguay one step beyond. Uh, Argentina, Chile, of course, level on points at the moment. Uruguay yet to get going. And Bolivia, I've got it all to do. This is, of course, the coverage right here, right now. Let's take a look at this one at the bookies then, shall we? Of course, looking forward to this. Uh, it is uh, Chile actually 5 to 1 on for the victory. 12, 11 to 2 is your draw. 14 to 1 is your long shots. That's Bolivia. Uh, the odds for the trophy 16 to 1 is Chile. Bolivia are the long shots 350 to 1. I do anticipate a victory here for Chile. Quite a comfortable one in the end. Going to go with a 3 0 win. Gone big. Gone big or go home. And hopefully, Brereton gets a start. And of course, hopefully, he can flex his muscles and showcase uh, the Chilean faithful what he's all about. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. We'll look forward to this one and we'll do it all again 
again very, very soon. Uh, of course, make sure you get your predictions in. The prediction shows are on there right now. And again, we hope to do some watch alongs over the next week or so if we can get things prepped. It'll probably be on Twitch. So make sure to check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Patreon as well. So make sure to check them badges out. Until then, I'll see you soon for the next one, whenever that may be. Until then, I am out.